What's up guys, it's Caden here and I'm back at it again with another video. Today we're checking out the patch notes for Xenoverse 2. I think this is 1.23, I want to say. Uh, well, it doesn't really matter. But anyway, so the new patch in, in, introduces some interesting like balance changes for the game. And I think this is really important for you guys to know. So let's get right into it. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. Hit that like button as well if you did enjoy this video. Like I said, let's get right into it. Um, so Kamehameha, Gallic Gun, and I think Big Bang Kamehameha all got buffed in this patch. And apparently, when you go Super Saiyan, do you, do you remember how when you went Super Saiyan before and you would teleport? doing this dumbass animation where you were like all the way up top and it would just miss well now they fixed it after a knockback you now so let me demonstrate after a knockback now you get the full teleportation and it actually does what it's supposed to and what that also means is that you're gonna get the full blast now when you do long knockbacks at least I don't know yeah I think with all long knockbacks you'll get the full blast okay so yeah it does work I don't know if it works online I'll have to I'll probably have a, a clip showing right now of whether it does or if it doesn't but it does work with uh, Gallic Gun as well that is one of the also that is another one um, another thing they fixed they increased the frames or not increased they decreased the frames for um, boost Kamehameha so what that means is right if I do this move and the bot right they perfect block the move I can recover faster now like way faster it's pretty much instant at this point and unpunishable so there's literally no point in like trying to punish somebody for you know what I mean using this move because you can literally just cancel it and and you're you're fine see what I mean like I, I can instantly do that that's so dumb that's like so dumb and I feel like this move now is going to get used a lot more. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But this move is definitely something that's pretty nasty now. Because it, it, you realistically just got rid of, like, the fucking drawback of the move. Because usually you should you can punish people afterwards. But nonetheless, let's move on. The next move is Genocide Shell. And uh, it says here that all they've done to it is increase the damage of it. So, um... I don't really I feel like this move overall needs a, a better buff to it you know I mean like increasing the damage is not really I don't know it's it's good for that Tim you know if you're a Tim player or if you're a very defensive player it's good for that you know what I mean but other than that it's not that good at all this move is I feel like this move should be able to be used in a combo like say if I were up close right and all four key blasts hit. I should be doing all that damage. Can you imagine how much that would be stupid damage, bro? 8k? Oh my god, that would be nasty. But it's whatever. So moving on. All right, so we're back here again, uh, showing the other moves that got buffed. So Saucer Blade is another one of those moves where no one really uses it anymore, even though it used to be like crazy good in combos. But they buffed this too to where it does more shield damage, which honestly, okay, actually that's a lot. That's a lot. That's two bars. That's actually kind of, hold on, let me, normal. Oh my God, that's so much. That That's actually a pretty nasty shield break. Crazy finger shot got um adjusted damage reaction when enemy is hit. Now, I don't know what that means. It means they, like, fixed the stun, or what did they do? I'm, I'm actually kind of curious. I have no understanding of what this means. Okay, so he it looks like he's just getting stunned. You know what I mean? Does it last longer? I can't really tell. It looks like you get caught in it more. Like, I can't... I honestly can't tell the difference. Maybe... Yeah, I still can't tell the difference. I don't know. But, uh, on <laughs> to the next one, I guess. 
Power Blitz is uh, another one of those moves where it, it honestly needed a buff because it was pretty shit and no one uses it. If you don't know, it's uh, 18's move where she throws uh, two key blast and like an angled version. So And now it says they adjusted the, um, oh, made easier to connect after a knockback. So let's see. Um, I don't know, maybe, hold on. Nah, I don't, I don't think so. It's still trash, because it doesn't last that long. Okay, oh, that's pretty nice. Okay, that's actually really nice. So, if you do like a short knockback. Oh, yo, Power Blitz could actually be used in some pretty snazzy combos now. Not gonna cap to you. Because it does bring them back up to, like, what's it called? Like, um, it, it, it brings them back up to, um, their original state, which is pretty nice. Um, and then they don't gain stamina from it either, so that's pretty nice. Um, so let's do that. Alright, well, and the next one is Fighting Sun. Um... They said it increased stat boost, adjusted, so you can recover more key and stamina when used. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Fighting Sun literally just, like, stops you from using any of your moves, but you, you get, like, buff damage, I guess. Okay, I can see it. Oh my god, I can definitely see it. They buffed this. Hold on, let me go into Super Saiyan 3 and use Wait, oh, Fighting Sun literally takes you out of transformation. I did not know that because I didn't use this move. But when you go right in there fighting, oh yeah, it literally just takes you out. So it negates all effects. So this is for like, Fighting Sun is for like those those characters who can hit really fucking hard. And they've got a super soul that like increases their basic attack. That's what Fighting Sun is for. But I can definitely see the damage increase. It's pretty, it's pretty nuts. And I mean, it doesn't last that long either, so I guess it's okay. Um... Alright, so, I'll be right back. We're gonna get to the next move. Alright, so, we're back again, and the next move on the list is Big Bang Kamehameha. Now, uh, I know I skipped over two, and, or three, rather, and that's because, no, just two. Um, I don't have Omega Shenron, and I don't know what the first move is. So, uh, we're just gonna skip over those for now. But, um, let's get into it on the next one. Big Bang Kamehameha also got that buff where you teleport better now. But the problem with Big Bang Kamehameha is that it's it still takes so long to charge. You know what I mean? Like, it's, 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 I don't know. I would have to try it online to see if it actually teleports. Because as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't teleport. Maybe for a stamina break, yeah, sure. I feel like that's all this would do, is for the stamina break. And then again, it doesn't even do that much damage, if we're being honest. Like, you could easily put on a regular Kamehameha or times 10, and it would just, it would just be way better. But, um, so, let's like, stamina break, I guess. Let's see if that fixes it. Okay, so yeah, they did def definitely fixed it, you know what I mean? It's definitely pick upable. You know, say if you're using, um, I don't know, Blazing Attack. You know what I mean? Blazing attack into, like, Big Bang Kamehameha would definitely work. You know what I mean? I feel like, yeah, that would definitely work. You know what I mean? So, for all you people who are trying to combo some things, you know what I mean? There you go. Um, next will be Bluff Kamehameha. Now, Bluff Kamehameha got the same treatment as all the other beams that got buffed this patch. So, Kamehameha, Gather Gun, Big Bang. And I don't understand this buff. Because, first of all, I didn't even know you could teleport with this move. And secondly, it don't look like it worked. I definitely did not know you can teleport with this move. But it doesn't look like it got fixed, to be honest with you. Because um, this is just not working. I, I don't even think it would work, even if you wanted it to. Because it's supposed to be behind them, and that's not the case. Yeah, it feels... <laughs> it's... <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is this is a fail. Bluff Kamehameha is trash. Don't don't touch this. Don't. Anyway, next. So the next one we're doing is Gallic Cannon. Gallic Cannon got the same um, treatment as everything else. Um, 
Oh, consecutive energy beam. I don't know what that means. If they're talking about blast, then we really don't need to do that one. Um, that literally just says e made easier to connect with. I don't see how that was hard to connect with before, but whatever, you know, we'll keep it moving. Gallic Cannon is another move I don't recommend using, but they buffed it anyway. It's, it's not like it's going to make a difference. But um, let me do this. Let me do this. Because I don't like being in Super Saiyan 3, to be honest. Alright, so they buffed it. Um, made it easier to knock back. So... Actually does a quite a bit of damage, not gonna lie to you. Maybe because of my <laughs> level 6 QQ bang, but it does quite a bit of damage. Um, but yeah, they made it they made it easier to connect with after a knockback, so I guess that's good. Um, I don't I don't have the teleport on this one, so I guess they're talking about Gallic Beam Cannon and not regular Ganon Cannon, so whatever. Um, next thing that got buffed is Elite Beam. And Elite Beam, you know what I mean? It just it just made it easier to connect with, so. Okay, maybe not that combo, but let me try this one. Okay, so yeah, it's, it's just made easier to connect with. Alright, so next we have Destructive Raid, Darkness Twin Star, Time Skip, Flash Skewer, and Elite Shooting. Right? So first, let's start with Elite Shooting. Elite Shooting got nerfed. Uh, the damage is severely reduced now. Even though it doesn't look like it. Like, holy shit. It's still doing 3,900. I mean, then again, I'm at max key blast. But still, look at that damage. That doesn't look nerfed to me. Like, bro, these guys are bugging. Oh, my goodness. That's, that's, that's crazy. But all right, let's move on to the next one. Nerfed my ass. Another move that got buffed was uh, Destructive Ray, and I don't use this move a lot, but apparently they made it easier co to connect with, so I don't know, um, let's find out. Okay, so yeah, I guess they did make it easier to connect with. Yeah, it's pretty consistent now. You can use it after anything. Holy shit. It's really fast. Like, you can you can pick that up with anything. Oh, let me see if I can... Nah, you can't. Not fast enough. Too much on startup. But yeah, that's, uh... It's pretty nice that they... I guess it's pretty nice that they made it easier to hit with. I don't know. But, whatever. Next up is Darkness Twin Star. So, what they did with this, they did a multitude of things. They made it so you can make an additional input straight after firing, made it so an opponent is knocked further back when hit with the barrier, and made additional inputs easy to hit with. So, what I'm guessing is, they now get knocked back farther, and you can probably do a Kamehameha right afterwards, which is kind of nutty. So yeah, you can definitely do something right after now. And they also made it so you can... Oh my goodness. Look at that knockback. They actually made Darkness Twin Star a little bit usable. Like, in all honesty, for this patch, they are buffing the hell out of defense. And they don't even realize it. I don't think anybody's going to use this per se, but this could create some crazy combos just with this alone. Because this actually does pretty good damage now. 3100? Can I, can I do this after a knockback? Hold on, let me see. No, it's not worth. Still not worth. Hold on, let me see. Oh my god, that works. No way. Why does that work? Let's try this again. Okay, so that doesn't work. So it's got to be a long knockback, I'm assuming. Wow, that works. That's, uh... Wow, okay. The next move is Time Skip Flash Skewer. And what they did is reduce infinity frames after attack, reduce damage, made blockable, and made so the move can be cancelled part way through. Decrease time needed for an opponent to Z-Vanish when hit as well. So they mix and match this move. This move got buffed and nerfed, apparently. So... Oh... No... 
No. No. Did they do what I think? Th there is no way. There's no way. Oh my god. They nerfed the damage severely though. They really nerfed the damage severely. But they made it a combo move, yo. I can combo this. Ah, this is another aura slide. But you can you can definitely snap from this. But the combos you can make with this, oh. Oh, that's going to be interesting. That is going to be interesting, the combos you can make for this. Wait, can I, like, reset? Oh, my God, bro. You can reset somebody. Hold on. If this works. Oh, oh, no. Ah, this is going to be disgusting. This is going to be disgusting. Oh, the fact that you can just reset somebody. Mmm. Ah. Oh my goodness, bro. This is going to be dangerous. So the next few moves we're doing are Spirit Blaster, Divine Retribution, Ray Blast, and Meditation. Before we get into those, I just want to know that we're going to have to do some tests. Oh, well... You guys probably won't see it, but I'm going to do some tests later on to see what else I could do with a uh, time skip skewer now that it's been turned into a combo move. Because if my if my suspicions are correct, you could probably go skewer right into time skip Molotov. And the the oh, oh my god, that's going to be disgusting. But so the next move is divine retribution and what they did with that is I don't know what reach out means. Uh, I guess reduce time until opponent can escape. Uh, so I'm guessing during the second part. Um, oh, they didn't recover, so. Oh, they maybe they prolonged it. Yeah, I think they prolonged it. I don't think they shortened it. They made it way. They made it harder for you to escape, because it doesn't look like the CPU is trying. So they literally made it harder for you to get out, is what I'm saying. Maybe, maybe that. So the next move is uh, meditation. And as you all know, meditation got nerfed. If you're not, what's it called, in 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 touch with uh, patch notes. So they buffed it and they nerfed it at the same time. So what they did is they made it so you could gain key better, right? But the time is severely reduced. It went from a minute, right? A minute of meditation to 20 seconds. Which is pretty ridiculous if we're being honest. That means a lot of these uh, Super Saiyan Evolved builds or in Super Saiyan Blue builds are going to be severely nerfed. But um, look at look at how much key you're getting. Like That's actually it's still pretty crazy. Like You're getting so much key in that small amount of time. But the fact that it all goes away is pretty sad. But you do get at least four key bars. You know what I mean? Alright, so on to the next move. Which is the move I just used. And it's called Ray Blast. You know what I mean? So, Ray Blast is essentially Kefla's move. Right? It's the move she does before she uh, uses her gigantic... Whatever the fuck it's called. But her ult. So, you would go Ray Blast bop 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 into her alt but now right before the knockback for it was trash but now the knockback for it looks really good and usable in combos so guess who's about to use this move more me because this move is actually usable now and i'm excited i am very excited that this move is usable this makes this 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 sets up so many opportunities for combos because look how look at look at that knockback, look at that knockback. That is a that is a hard knockback if I haven't seen one. That is literally setting up for anything. Well, not anything, but you know, majority of the moves you can think of. So keep that in mind. You know what I mean? Keep that on your radar. So another move that well, the next move is Spirit Blaster, and Spirit Blaster is one of those moves 
that started out bad because not only did it give back stamina, right? It didn't do much damage and it looks terrible, you know, for being completely honest. But it says here that they buffed the move. So let's see how much damage it's doing. That's actually pretty significantly more damage because before it was like half. It was like 1500, but now it's 3100. How much more damage am I doing in Super Saiyan? Uh, not too much, but maybe if I had Super Vegeta or Blue, it would do a lot more. But um, I can, I can, you can tell the difference in the damage. But is it worth using still? I think not. I think they would literally have to take away the whole thing about getting stamina back. So how it would work is right. If you hit somebody with this move, you gave them like mad amounts of stamina back. I don't know if that's still the case. I would have to try it out. But, you know what I mean? I, I don't recommend using this move. But, uh, gonna move on to the next one. I'll be right back. Alright, guys. Back with some more moves. And the next move on the list is Punisher Shield. Punisher Shield was another one of those moves where it was pretty weak when it first launched. And it was it was really only good for like annoying people when they teleported behind you or you know reflecting key blasts, which usually most people don't really use that often. So I'm honestly curious to see how much damage this is actually doing now. And it's doing a lot. Three times more is what it used to do. Holy shit. That's actually really good damage. Look at that. That's I, I, I just wish it was a hard knockdown. Oh, I wish it was a hard knockdown. If this move was a hard knockdown, bro, it would be so good. Or if you or if you can like knock them up or sideways or forward. Oh my god. This move could have so much like you know what I mean? Type shit. So the next move is uh Saiyan Spirit. No, it's time for a Kaioken, my bad. Um and this move apparently got more damage for the second part which is pretty snazzy because this is like a four key bar move and it should do four key bar damage which you know 10k isn't bad uh i think it should be 12 to be honest but 10k is not bad you know it's way better than what it was because it was like 800 before yeah it was like 8,000, but it's doing you know 12 i mean if you do it right you'll get 10 if you do it right um, let's go to Super Saiyan. Let's see how much this is doing. Yep, 11k max. Maybe you could get 12 if you have the right build and the right, you know, the right transformation. But I feel like, uh, yeah, I feel like this move is now. I I I still don't think it's worth the the um that the exhaustion. From the end of it, but you know, if you're just doing this to get a kill, you know what I mean? Why, by all means, you know, it's not that bad. It could be worse. Um, the next move is Saiyan Spirit, and apparently they, they made this move easier to connect with. So I don't know, like, what's the point? You know what I mean? Because the move's still ass. No one's gonna use it because Brave Heat is still a thing. Like, Saiyan Spirit would have to do something different from Brave Heat to make it usable. Granted, look at that damage, though. Did they secretly increase the damage on this move? Because holy shit. 13k? Nah, that's, that's probably from just a base combo. Uh, yeah, it still does normal damage. I'm not surprised. But another thing they added that makes this different from Brave Heat, and I don't know if Brave Heat does this or not, but... At the end of the hit, it's a hard knockdown. So you can now combo other moves into it. Which is pretty nice. And I might even use this as a as a combo starter, you know what I mean? Like the potential for this is pretty it's pretty wild. Saiyan Spirit with a hard knockdown? That 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 kind of makes Brave it doesn't make Brave Heat obsolete, but it adds some like you know some some more possibilities you know it makes you want to use Saiyan spirit I, like I said I don't know if brave heat has the same I would have to go try it out but you know Saiyan spirit having a hard knockdown is pretty snazzy not gonna lie to you so uh, yeah let's move on to the next moves all right and we're back so the the rest of the moves uh, 
are, are pretty much ultimates in, at the end of this list. So be ready for that. So the next move is um, Weekend. Uh, not Weekend. Hellzone Grenade. Um, it says the move used against 17. And this is the only move I can think of. And Light Grenade is not an ultimate. So Hellzone Grenade. So they made it so when the opponent is looking around, it's an unblockable. So if you get caught in this, right? Uh, guard. Bap, bap. Bap, 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 bap. I thought it was unblockable. Uh, he's not looking around. It's only when they're looking around? I think that's a weird tech, but alright. Okay, so when so so if you get caught in the in the looking around animation, you you can't block it anymore. But if you're I don't know how, if you're avoiding this already, then you should be fine. So I, I don't know, whatever. Let's I don't I don't think anybody's gonna use Hellgrown grenade anyway, so next. Um it's the weekend. Haha, <laughs> cap. Um it says made easier to hit an opponent when close. And it says technically it does more damage and stun tar sometimes stun time startup was removed. Wow, I had a trouble saying that. So let's see what they mean by that. Uh, 8100, um, I don't know, I mean, hold on, let me, is there something else I'm missing? It's still doing damage, I mean, it's still doing base damage. I don't see what the problem is. Uh, alright. Back with two more moves. So, the next two moves are, it says Destruction Ball, so I'm assuming Super Vanishing Ball. And the next move is construction, Concerto of Destruction, which I'm guessing is just Requiem of Destruction. Uh, this is just assumptions, because I know Super Vanishing Ball is one of those moves where it's hard to hit on the ground. Like, it'll just it'll just go away for whatever fucking reason. But uh, let's try it out. Oh, wait, hold on. Alright, so... Will it actually hit? Okay, so they weren't knocked down on the ground, so I can't really say for sure. Um, let's, let's make him snap, and then we'll see. So we can get the actual full length stamina break. Will it actually hit? It does. It does hit. That's nice. Now, let's just hope this works online. If uh, I don't have it already up, I should be posting like uh, a confirmation that it does work pretty good online if it's not already up there. But uh, if not, let's move on to the next move, which is Requiem of Destruction. Now, what they said they did to this is um, they said they buffed this move with increased damage and made easier to hit. So I'm assuming that means, uh, you know, maybe it's better in combos now. Maybe I can actually combo it so with something. So first, let's find out how much damage it's doing normally. Nothing. Nothing. It's still doing no damage. So I'm guessing either this isn't the move they're talking about or I don't know. Um, let me know what you think. I wonder if this works. Oh, my God, it does. This is the shit I'm talking about, folks. Ray Blast can combo into pretty much a lot of shit now. And I think it's instant that you can combo into an alt. Yep, it's it's so instant. Uh, what am I doing? Let's restart. But yeah, um, I don't know if it's Requiem or Destruction, but I guess we're just gonna skip that one. Um, so for the next couple of moves, they're pretty much all the same. Not all the same per se, but most of them are. Um, most of them are the same as a uh, as um super vanishing ball, where they're made easier to hit on the ground. Like uh, the next one is super nova cooler, revenge death ball, prominence flash. All of those are being made easier to hit on the ground. And if I haven't already, I'll post a, a little clip, you know, to show you that they do work. So, 
Uh, let's see. The next one is energy field, and it says when increasing the barrier with a long button press, you um, fix the problem where the move would stop when getting hit. So that's that's uh that's pretty. Uh, it's a nice change. You know what I mean? I never noticed it because I don't use energy field. Um, because why would you? It consumes key, so it's a waste. But the next thing is purification, and it says change so you recover stamina when transformed. So um, purification is still gonna be an ass transformation, in my opinion at least. I don't really see the necessarily necessary use for it, to be honest with you. Um, it turns you into a boo, and you don't even get the same combos as as Kid Boo. Uh, so I guess um, I don't know that it's it's <sighs> Zeno trying to do Zeno things. You know, I, at least they're making an attempt, I guess, to make it quote unquote better. But in reality, no one's still gonna use that Awoken skill because it's it's not worth it. Let's be real here. Um, and the last couple of things are Kaioken and, uh, um, they changed some skill explanation and they added partner super souls, right? Uh, the Kaioken literally says, uh, you can't, um, uh, recover stamina now when getting hit, which is a dumb nerf to Kaioken because one, no one uses Kaioken in the first place. So why... Why do that? You know what I mean? It's just... Ah, it's just kind of like no point. And another thing they did was skill explanations. So they pretty much just like... Went through the entire list and actually gave a good like detailed explanation of what the move does. Or a better explanation of what the move does. Like, uh, for instance, if you scroll up to... Okay, if you scroll to God's Flare, right? I bet you didn't know you could guard to cancel the move. You only know about the one that says you can press the button again to fire it. But I bet you didn't know about guarding it. Because I didn't either, to be real with you. Uh, it's, I, don't, I don't see what the point is for that. But, you know, it's it's whatever. But, um, saying this is probably going to be the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think about the update. Let me know what combos you're going to make. Send me your combos because I am curious to see what you guys come up with. You know what I mean? I feel like there's going to be some, some more interesting stuff that goes on nowadays. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that sub button for more Xeno content. Go follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Caden underscore XD. I'll be streaming there a lot now that the new patch has dropped. So once again, thank you all again. I hope you all enjoyed My name is Caden XD. Yeah, she get sick, sick, nasty, lick it and don't ask me Pop, pop, fast, and maybe you live fast I throw dumb, dumb cash, and bitches that like candy They looking for a bag, the minute they go back She get sick, sick, nasty, lick it and don't ask me Pop, pop, fast, and maybe 